Hi there, today we're looking at basic skills for jewelry making, how to make a gemstone bar that can be used for a necklace, bracelet, or any other finished jewelry that you may that you may make. So here we have our chain cutters, our round nose pliers, and two pairs of bent chain nose pliers. Supplies that you will be needing today is a chain of choice. So this is a 2.2 millimeter flat cable chain, our sterling silver wire, this is 26 gauge half hard wire, and some beads of your choice. So first step, we take our wire and our round nose pliers, and then you're going to grip the end of the, the wire. This is just um, about two inch two inch piece of wire. The length of the wire will depend on the size of beads and the amount of beads that you choose to use. So you grip the wire leaving about three quarters of an inch tail for your wire wrap because you're going to coil this around itself. And you're just going to grip that on the corner where you have bent it, slide it over with your finger using your thumb, making a loop that connects to the corner that you have made. You're going to leave your tail open right now and you're going to hook on the chain that you're using. You want to make sure the end link of the chain that you're putting on is uh, a good chain link. Sometimes when you cut the chain link the end link might get a little cut in it as well so it might lose that that strength so you're going to want to make sure that that is a good link. Now I'm going to grip the loop and I'm wanting to avoid um, getting that chain in my grip because we do not want to bend it or kink it at all. So this is my stationary hand holding the loop and with my other set of bent chain nose pliers I'm going to start wrapping this tail around the wire itself. Now here's a design choice. You can choose to do one, two, three, four coils, how many ever that you would like. This is about two, uh, two to three coils here. And then cutting off the tail end here. So you don't want any, any flyaway wire and then just secure that down with the pliers. And this can sometimes be tricky. You want to make sure that that coil is nice and tight. Pushed all the way up. Oh, this guy doesn't want to pop down, so you're going to... You don't want to put any beads on your wire until you have your tail in there secured. Okay. And make sure it's nice and tight. And you can do this kind of bar with many, many different kinds of beads. Um, the round round beads, chips, the gemstone, the rondelles. Um, you can even use briolettes. Many, many endless possibilities. So now I'm going to simply bead on the stones. Now you need to be aware of the size of the stone that you're using and the size of the hole because that will help depict what um, wire choice you use along with the chain that you use as well. So this is a very short bar. This is just four, four, four pieces of four millimeter beads. So this is a quite short bar. So I have a lot of extra tail here which I can cut off because I do not need that much wire to do the rest of this wrapping. And just set aside that piece. Now I'm going to get my round nose pliers again. And about two to three millimeters above that bead, I'm going to do my do my kink, bend it away from me, and then wrap that wire around the end loop there of my of my pliers. Now you want to try to make that loop the same size as the other loop, so have that wire sit at the same point on the pliers that the first coil, what the first loop was, and then simply add the other end of the chain onto 
the loop over the tail into the loop and with my bent nose bent chain nose pliers going to grip that loop again trying to avoid squeezing onto the chain link my second set I'm going to start wrapping I need to readjust and you want this you want the bar to be tight you don't want the beads to be bouncing back and forth on the chain or on the wire bar so you want to make sure you can get the coils as close to the bead as possible with it being the same amount of coils as your first loop was so this looks pretty good the beads are in stable position and I'm at my third coil here just tuck that end in if it was too much wire you can always cut it off and then tuck it in at the end but we seem to have cut off the right amount and tuck that end in and here you could all once you're finished your gemstone bar you would uh, finish off the chain with a clasp and ring but we have a closed closed chain here and you have a beautiful ready-to-wear gemstone bar thank you so much